How's it going everyone? I wanted to give another devlog video update of my Minecraft server hosting system. So if you're interested in learning more about this project I'm working on, be sure to stick around and be sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel. Um, so basically I've been working on a system where you can come in and kind of rent a Minecraft server and behind the scenes using like Docker and all these other tools. We're going to spin up a Minecraft server for clients. Uh, the most recent thing I have worked on is adding an FTP server on the Minecraft agent. So basically someone can load up an FTP client such as FileZilla, connect to the Minecraft server and modify their files if they want to. So I wanted to kind of show you all that and also I wanted to show you something really cool. A cool plugin I found is called a Remote Explorer. So I can basically connect to that server that's downstairs. Using this Remote Explorer, I think I could just right click and say open in current window. And that is going to open a VS Code instance via SSH. I think it does like tunnels into the machine and I have access to all the commands that I could potentially just run if I was on the machine itself. Now I do have a password protection on this local uh, computer that's on my network. So let's add in the password here and we can go ahead and connect. So it might take a little bit, but once you're connected, we can actually view that folder. So I have all my stuff that's on that server downstairs and we can start playing around with it. Um, yeah, so the first thing I want to do is I do want to make sure that I don't have any Docker containers already running. Let's see, Minecraft is already running and the FTP client is running. So let's just go ahead and run a couple things. I need to run my, my database. So I got an npm command for that. I need to run my client, which I'll do like that. And every new terminal instance I open is going to be also on that same SSH client. So let's just go ahead and run the API run dev API, and then I also want to run the agent. Now the main reason I'm doing this is because you've heard me say in the past that my computer's been pretty slow, having to run all these services. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of offloading all that work onto that desktop computer that's downstairs to run the Docker containers and Minecraft servers, the agents, the API, and the client. And I'm just connecting to that directly here. So, but anyway, what I want to show you, if I go to my servers here and I click view, I added a new tab called FTP, and here it gives you information about what your username and password is, your host IP, and your port. All right, so typically FTP is hosted on port 20 slash 21, but in order to have multiple FTP servers running on the same um, node, I guess you could say, I need to have different ports. There might be alternative solutions for this, like maybe I can do a, a subdomain with like a server record, maybe that'll work. but. I didn't want to have multiple clients using the same FTP server because I feel like that's kind of a security risk. I don't want, I really want to want client A to be able to accidentally get into client B's Minecraft servers and potentially mess up their configuration or delete their worlds, etc. So I wanted to have a separate isolated Docker container running in FTP server, which is basically sharing the same server folder that is hosting the Minecraft server. So let me just show you this. I can go ahead and click on this and this will open up an FTP client that's built into um, Mac. But I can also use FileZilla to kind of do this. Let's just try this. I'll say open in Finder. And I'm gonna go ahead and type in admin, the password's admin, try to connect. And that will show me all of the files and folders that are in that server's directory. All right, so you can see here we have um, Minecraft server 1.18.1. We got a world folder here. And I'm actually connected to the FTP server using Max Explorer. So I think that's pretty cool. And just to kind of show you, if I expand this servers folder, um, I'm not sure which, which server it is. It's 7DD. I need to delete some of these old ones. But 7DD is the one that is running. So if I were to go and make a new file here, let's just make one called like, um, you know, I might need to make a file here. Let's just add a file called hello.txt. And I think it should show up here. I might have to like refresh or something. Uh, to be honest, I don't know how to use this uh, file thing. I might have to like disconnect and reconnect to it. But let's see, quick look. I don't know, but anyway, the thing I'm trying to show you is probably better with FileZilla. So let's just close out of this built-in client. I'm gonna connect to that same IP with admin and admin in that port, do a quick connect, and you'll see that it connected over here. We have hello.txt. And I can actually like move over files, right? So if I wanted to move over this tabs.mtl file or MLT, um, I got a critical file transfer error. So I have to look into why that's not working, but let me go ahead and click refresh. Maybe that'll show up.
Uh, let me try connecting one more time. I used to be able to copy files over, but there must be some type of error going on. I, I need to figure out what's going on here. Field transfers. Let's click here and let us figure out. Could not start the transfer. I wonder if I can actually download files. I might have something going wrong with like, I can download files, but I can't upload them. So there might be like a permissions issue that is set up incorrectly with my server, but I'll look into that. But basically that's what I've been working on. Just the ability for people to connect via FTP to their Minecraft server to, I don't know, download their world, change their world, uh, add custom mods or plugins if they want to. And let me just show you the kind of the code that I worked on to get that going. So there's a start server command that runs on the agent. And this is kind of hacky. I basically take the port of the Minecraft server and I subtract it from like the starting port, starting port of all the Minecraft servers. And then I just do some like times 10, add an offset and add a one to get basically the FTP min and max. It's really hacky. I don't know if there's a better solution for this. But basically when you're running FTP in passive mode, you have to provide it like a range of ports. So that's why I'm doing all this stuff. But since you have multiple Minecraft servers running on an agent, you need to make sure that the port ranges kind of get offset by a certain amount. So every time there's a new Minecraft server, I'm basically giving it a new range of ports um, with a range of 10, 10 values. So starting here, and then if someone makes a new server, the next one's gonna be like 2111. Again, this is probably not the best solution, but basically what I'm doing is when you start the Minecraft server here, uh, I just have another section which is starting up the FTP server using a built-in Docker container I found online called Fiora, Furia, I don't know, VSFTPD. So I think this is like a daemon service that runs an FTP server, pass it a bunch of commands, and basically it'll set up the server and, and mount it. Um, this is the important part. It's mounting the FTP server to my Minecraft servers folder. Remember that servers folder over here? This is basically the same, this is the folder that's getting mounted. So that's really the gist of what I've been working on. Um, yeah, I think it's a pretty cool addition. If I can get the FTP uploads working, I really don't know why that's not working. It was working at one point, but now for some reason I cannot seem to upload a file. Maybe there's like a max size of files. Let's see if I can upload hello. Yeah, I just can't upload files at all. So maybe there's something wrong with how I have the passive mode set up. Maybe it's expecting expecting a certain port to be open, but it's not entering passive mode. But 533 could not create file. I'll look into this bug. It's probably something simple that I have just misconfigured because this was working at one point. Yeah, this person's saying that it's probably related to permissions on the folder itself. So like this might be a quick hack. I might have to do something crazy where I need to go and actually go to that servers folder and I need to chmod 755 or 777 and basically do that recursively on that server. I don't know if this is gonna fix it, we'll see. It's probably a not safe solution, but I'll just see if this works real quick and we'll kind of go from there. Yep, so that worked, that fixed the issue. So it's just a permissions issue. I think when you run this, um, this FTP server, it expects someone to be on a certain type of user. I think it's like an FTP user or something. So I'll have to figure that out. I don't know if it's a big issue if I give this thing right access because like the only thing that'll be writing to this folder would be the agent, which is my code. So I think it's safe to just give this more um, like writable permissions. But yeah, this is definitely a learning experience. I'm just having a lot of fun just like learning how to connect these different things together and get a cool little system kind of set up. So if you enjoyed watching this video, give me a thumbs up. Also leave me a comment below if you have an idea of what I should try to add on next or if there's something that you think I should try to fix or if you have a suggestion of how I can fix something, leave a comment, let me know. Also, if you're new to this channel, be sure to click that subscribe button because I'm gonna have other videos like this that'll show the progress of this Minecraft server hosting system in the future. And I think it'll be a good learning experience for you if you're trying to learn how to program or kind of get into the industry. All right, have a good day and happy coding.